Apple offers a powerful feature for storing your video and photo content called iCloud Photo Library. And if you're a subscriber to iCloud Photo Library, then all of your video and photo content is stored in the cloud. What that means is you can have more content in your photos library than can fit on your iPad. And if you have that feature, you will likely have turned on optimized content on your iPad. Let's take a look. In the settings app in iOS, if I scroll down to photos, you'll see that I currently have optimized iPad storage turned on. What that means is that I can have more content in my photos library than will physically fit on my iPad. But what that also means is that if I go to add a clip to a LumaFusion project that is currently stored in the cloud, it will have to be downloaded before it can be added. And this all happens automatically, but let's take a look at how this works. You'll notice that some of these clips have a small cloud icon next to them. If I add one of these clips to my timeline, it'll have to be downloaded. When it first gets dropped on the timeline, you'll see a series of hash lines through it showing that it's not currently there. And over on the right-hand side, you'll see that it shows downloading media, one remaining. How long that clip takes to download will depend on the length of the clip and, of course, your internet connection. It might take a couple seconds or even a few minutes or more. But once that clip is downloaded and in LumaFusion, it is protected. It is safe. It has been locked in and stored inside of the LumaFusion library. Even if iCloud Photo Library decides at some point that that clip is no longer needed and offloads it off the iPad, it is still securely stored inside of the LumaFusion library. But then if you delete that clip from the timeline in LumaFusion and it's no longer needed, LumaFusion will intelligently remove that footage from its cache so it's not storing it unnecessarily.